the jetpack dream is very close to being realized. I wanted to spend this episode building windmills, giant windmills, and I still might be able to do that, but I realized that it will be very hard to do without being able to fly. And then I checked out this cheap jetpack, the one that is just the cheapest one, and I can actually make it. I'm pretty sure I can. So I already made some components for it, but also I just got some, like conductive iron, which I was making for conduits, is actually something that's needed for this jetpack. So let's see how close I am. This is what I've got in here, but I also need two thrusters, and I can actually make them. Wait, maybe I already made them. I just gotta double check. Nope, I did not. Okay, one thruster, and uh, that's it for now. So I need more capacitors, and I need more basic gears. Okay, one and a two. Got basic gears. Now I only need some capacitors. And they're not that hard to make. I just need a little bit more gold. And the dream will be realized. I can actually make it pretty much right now. Bam, some nuggets. And uh, one and a two. And another conductive iron thruster. And I think I need another one of these capacitors. Yep. So the only thing that remains now is a leather strap. So, I don't have any leather, unfortunately. I do have this farm with a bunch of cows. But they are good cows, okay? They are fully breeded normal cows. And I can get leather from just some wild cows. So I'm actually gonna... I'm actually gonna spend a little bit of time trying to find those wild cows. Hmm... Well, really not much. If there is no cows in the vicinity, I think it will be easier to just breed those some more and kill some others. Okay, horses. I might be able to get some leather from horses, but I don't want to kill a horse for a piece of leather. Okay, there we go. That's one. Okay, can I hit it like that? Oh no, almost. That will have been such a critical hit. Okay. Actually, I can try again. There we go. No leather, unfortunately. <laughs> okay, well, the search continues. Oh, well, that search was very, very quick. I already played around with this jetpack as well in my creative testing world. And it's a pretty good one. It's a, a very cheap one, but I can still kind of hover in the air with it as well. So it will be very convenient building windmills with it. And also, I did a little bit of reading on windmills. And I did a bunch of other stuff, which I'm gonna show you in just a second, related to my energy production, energy storage, and also to windmills directly. But I did a little bit of reading. And those windmills are the most effective when they are 200 blocks in the air. So. I think this one of mine is maybe, maybe it's where I am right now, so like Y level 100. I need to place it twice as high for it to actually produce the maximum amount of energy. And then it's actually gonna be a very good energy generation. Just from a couple of windmills, I'm pretty sure I will be able to power all of these mystical agriculture things. And the more I build them, the better it will be. And the best part about it is that, obviously, I can just build them and forget about them. They will generate energy forever. So, yeah, there we go. Four pieces of leather. There are some more cows in here. But they are gonna be spared. So, here I actually have a hemp farm. All of this is... Oh, no. <laughs> All of this is hemp, which I require to build those advanced windmills, which will generate more energy than this normal one. So hopefully I can turn all of that into at least a couple of windmills. And uh, I build a few more capacitors in here and started replacing this wall. I think this whole wall is gonna be replaced by just capacitors, because why not? <laughs> because I will need a lot of energy for a lot of other things in the future. Okay, leather strap completed and... No, no, dang it, wait a second, please, 
Please tell me, quest completed. No. Dang it. I mean, yeah, well done, I got the jetpack. But this quest actually requires conductive iron thruster and leather strap, so I should have closed the inventory first and get this achievement. And I would have gotten a nice loot bag and uh, yeah, whatever, it doesn't matter. Jetpack has been made, let's quickly power it up and maybe start building things as well. So yeah, actually it's about time to start collecting this hemp field. Because I really don't know how much hemp it's gonna be. I'm pretty sure though it's gonna be a lot. <laughs> Already more than a stack. And that's like one fourth of this field. So... I'm, I think I need like 8 for one windmill? No, it's probably more, right? Let's see, windmill. So I will need those wings and I will need... Oh, okay, I will need 8 of them. And... Alright, yes, I will need a lot of hemp. So from this little hemp that I just collected from this field, I was able to make 10 of these things. And I will be able to make at least 2 of these blades. Which is not that much. Hopefully I will be able to make at least one windmill from this whole field. Because this is just going to be one of these blades and, I, and then I will need eight of them to make an improved, uh, an improved windmill. But it's going to be worth it. Let's quickly check out this jetpack though. So it's going to be a lot more convenient building stuff like this. It also has a hover mode, which is not that great. Okay, I signed it on some button. There we go. It's not that great, so I'm not doing anything right now, but, and I'm still slowly going down. I think with higher levels of it, I will actually be able to stay in the air, just stationary. But for now, this is what I got. And of course, with this jetpack, if I wanna, I can just get really, really high and then glide down the rest of the way wherever I need to go. So that's really cool. Okay, let's get to our hemp field now. Alright, I, I gotta land. Maybe water will slow me down. Okay, and almost, almost. Okay, there we go. Actually, another thing I gotta show you is this little field. So here I've got some water essence and dirt essence growing. Uh, there is this planter, but it doesn't really do anything. It's not really connected to anything. And the reason I've got those things in here is because for those windmills, I will need a lot of stuff. I will need a lot of clay, actually, because I will need some relays, I will need some connectors, and as it turns out, hardened clay is something I will need a lot of to make, specifically relays, to just get this cable down from Y level 200. Uh, so yeah, I can actually make it using water and dirt essence, and that's what I'm gonna be working on. Well, that's what this field is already working on. If I can just get a few more seeds, that would be great. Ah, oh, dang it. So yeah, I need a few more seeds to expand it, but I guess I will be able to make some clay in this episode as well, if I really need to. Okay, it's hemp collection time. Please be enough. What? What is up with this one? Oh, I can actually... Okay, I see. I see. I thought this one wasn't fully grown yet. I was like, what the heck? What the heck, you've been growing for so long, and everything else is fully grown. Okay, so, how many stacks? One, two, three, four. Almost four full stacks. Okay, let's put all of it in here, and make as much tough fabric as I can. 31, and I accidentally made a stack of buttons. That's unfortunate. And now I need those windmill blades. I think I can make a lot of them as well. I should have some more, some more treated planks somewhere in here. Huh, maybe not. But I can definitely make some more, but I don't think I need to, right? I've got nine blades right now, and I only need eight for this advanced windmill. So let's turn all of them, or as many of them as I can, into advanced ones. Yes, I can turn all of them, and there we go, one improved windmill is here. I will also need a kinetic dynamo eventually. I guess it's not hard to make, actually. I wanted to use this other one I already have, but yeah, I already have all of the materials, so why not? 
and I guess I'm gonna build just really a tower. Just a tower with planks, because, well, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. <laughs> and actually, for cable management, the, uh, the simpler it's gonna be, the better. So, yeah, how about this place for the first windmill? Just gonna build it all the way to Y level 200. There we go. Now, let's install this kinetic dynamo. Fuel is at 37%. Okay, so... Oh, you're facing this direction. Hmm, that's not good. Let's change that. And, uh... Okay, better. Yeah, I kind of want for you to face this way. Oh, no. Oh, no. It does the same thing now as it did when I was installing the other one. Okay, let's try to destroy it. I'm kind of worried that this thing will just fall and I won't be able to catch it. Oh no, gosh. Okay, okay, now let's, let's get it. No, it still fell. <laughs> Welp. Okay, okay, fuel at 17, 16%. Oh man, all right. Attempt number two, windmill, get over here. Okay, good, good, it's working, and look at how fast it is. Oh, it's gonna be generating lots of energy. So, yeah, I'm pretty much done in here. All I need now is a bunch of relays and connectors. Actually, I got some, I, I had some on me, but I guess I dropped them off. In any case, let's go down, let's recharge this jetpack and uh, I, I'm gonna try to make as many relays as I can but I'm just not sure how many I can make I need a lot of hardened clay for that and these things don't give me any seeds unfortunately but hopefully this water essence and dirt essence will be enough to make a few blocks of hardened clay for a few relays okay so there we go clay Here's the recipe, two of each essence for 24 clay, that's quite a good deal, and it renders 26 clay for me right now. And six blocks of it, that's really good considering I don't have a proper farm set up, it's just two crops growing, and they're already fully grown as well. Okay, so how many relays do I have? <laughs> one exactly, okay, and one connector as well. But one relay requires two hardened clay, so with this much, I will be able to make three more, because, well, there's three more on the way. So, oh, wow! Oh my gosh! How did I not notice that? You actually get eight from each recipe. Pfft. Never mind. Okay, that's definitely gonna be enough. I've got enough wire coils as well and I think I'm gonna make one connector because as you remember there is some kind of a limit on how many how many relays you can have so I'm gonna bring it all down and then at the bottom of this windmill oh my gosh I can't even see it from here it's too far away it doesn't even render but yeah I'm just gonna place a capacitor over here and then connect it from here to my main capacitors so yeah let's go on top okay let's do it so I need one of these things in here a coil and let's just go down now until it turns red okay 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 first relay goes somewhere around here and uh, bam once again the same thing until it turns red i'm just gonna slowly glide down i can actually turn on hover okay a lot more convenient bam second relay bam connected third relay i might not need all seven relays i still have left okay goes in here and connected fourth relay i, I might actually still go over the limit though oh that's kind of scary Wait a second, uh, because I'm, I don't know what this limit is, I just know that when I was trying to use too many relays in my mystical agriculture setup, 
things just weren't getting any energy. Okay, so I might have to install a capacitor in here, just in the middle of these relays as well. Alright, another one. And we are almost there. Might be able to connect it to capacitor directly, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. Okay, but now... We are here. And landing. Okay, so connector goes in here. Bam! Everything is connected. And look at this thing, it's actually getting energy. Good. Good, so I don't need to do anything special. It's such a shame that I can't see it. I'm pretty sure it's quite... It would have been quite a nice sight to see just a line of windmills working in the distance. Okay, so I have this relay inside, which connects a bunch of my stuff as well as this other windmill and my capacitor. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna destroy this one. <laughs> okay, and let's get inside. I, I guess I'm just gonna make a new door in here. Yeah, and I'm gonna place it over here, so now I can connect uh, this thing as well. There we go. Let's make sure it's giving energy to capacitor. No, no, I don't think so. So I gotta change something in here. I think I gotta change this to orange. And now magic should be happening. Yes, look at that, 200... 39 redstone flux per tick and that's just from this windmill that's really good okay so let's connect everything else that was connected good so now wait hmm why are you not getting any energy oh no it just doesn't need any energy okay and this thing is full of energy and that thing hmm 20 redstone flux so this block consumes 200? No way, no, it, it even says 6 per tick. That's kinda weird. Alloy smelter is not doing anything right now. And there is really nothing else that's consuming energy. Hmm, let's also connect this over here. Okay. Hmm, well yeah, that's kinda strange. Maybe this thing doesn't give all the energy it can. No, it does. <laughs> well, in any case, in any case, just this one windmill is enough to at least power this controller as well as still produce a little bit of energy for this thing to slowly charge up. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up a proper hemp farm with a planter and just make a bunch of these things. But for now, this one windmill is enough for all of my energy needs. And I think in the next episode, I'm finally gonna start working on this thing. Specifically on getting those items out of it and into my system. And maybe even some kind of an automatic way of supplying those blocks with holes. But that's it with this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Jetpack checked. Windmill checked. And I will see you in the next video.